We have the Genesis, you want that? Good evening, sir. If you could please tell us your name, spell your last name, and your position, and speak loud. It's Michael Howell, uh, Battalion Chief, Battalion 6, San Diego Fire, last name H O W E L L. Well, sir, we're here in Otay Mesa at another junkyard fire. And there's been several in the last couple of days. Can you talk about this one? Yeah, this one we're, um, we're out on uh, Pogo Row down in Otai, right next to Brownfield. It's actually Brownfield property. Um, it's leased from them, from one of the uh, junkyard uh, dismantling um, properties. So city of San Diego property? Yeah, S San Diego owns the property. As far as I know, um, we, we've discussed with the airport authority just now, and they said it is their part of their property. Okay, so what happened tonight? Uh, we were called for a possible structure fire um, called in from the Brownfield Tower. Um, when crews were on their way, it was discovered that it was one of the junkyards and was most likely vehicles on fire. Um, our crews down here are pretty adept at, at these calls. They know they know how to operate at them, so they coordinated it really well. Uh, Chula Vista assisted and Cal Fire assisted. Crews got here and uh, contained it to seven vehicles this time, fortunately. And suspicious in nature? Um, you know, just since we've had a few um, in the last week or so, um, we're going to have Mass come take a look as a, and so they can make the call on that. Uh, but yes, ownership was here when we arrived opening the gate. Um, so Mass will come down and uh, the arson folks will talk to them, interview them. So and nobody was inside when the fire started? <laughs> Not that I believe. I, I believe uh, the ownership was at the gate waiting for our crews to arrive. And any injuries to anybody? No, fortunately so far no injuries. And uh, like I said, we have Mast in route and uh, Hazmat. It's going to do a phone consult, see if we need anything from them. Okay, now, Otay Mesa always has one major issue for the firefighting. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, our, our biggest issue down here is the uh, water supply. Lack um, of water. Lack of water supply. Uh, not water, but hydrants. Um, we, we all know where our one hydrant is uh, near all these junkyard facilities, and that's about 2,000 feet from here at least um, that we, we would need to lay hose. So we have to call uh, water tenders and things from around Metro Zone to use, utilize them or put in two to 3,000 feet of hose. So, so it's definitely an issue down here. So rather than laying hose tonight, you were shuttling the water in? Yeah, affirmative. Um, and that's time consuming? Yeah, once they um, realized they had uh, partial containment on the fires, then they just went to a shuttling operation. But that would not be adequate if we were had more cars on fire. And it, it seems like this is a constant issue. Yeah, it's been been this way for a long time. Um, we, the crews are good at here about overcoming it. We do have the water tenders that we can order. Um, but yeah, that's one of our biggest issues down here is getting the water supply to the fire. And again, this is the third fire in four days and we understand there may have been a few other fires before that. So Mass is definitely uh, interested. Yeah, yeah, well, we would always just 
it, it's not necessarily suspicious in nature, but we'd like mass, the professionals, to come down and rule everything out. Um, and, and so we don't have to make that call. They're the ones who are good at it. Now we keep using the acronym. Can you tell us what MASS means? It's the Metro Ocean Strike Team. And the, that's uh, made up of law enforcement and fire? Yeah, it's uh, San Diego uh, Police Department and San Diego Fire personnel together work together on the Metro Ocean Strike Team. And they're experts in fires? Yeah, experts in determining the cause of fires. Okay. Sir, anything you'd like to add? Nothing, thank you. Sir, thank you so much for your time. All right, thanks.